Well, the major issue that we've had over the last two weeks is uh, unprecedented below freezing temperatures. The cold weather counteracting Baltimore City crews effort to repair heating systems so students can return to class Monday. We have had some situations where there have been a lot of pipe breaks and coil breaks uh, as we experienced last night and that's what our concern is for tonight. What will we experience tonight which could impact opening tomorrow? Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh says three schools are being closely monitored. I've asked that we have someone in those schools 24 hours because we don't want pipes bursting. Pugh, along with the Director of Public Works and the district's CEO, toured Frederick Douglass High School. Well, this here will be new town. This will be the place. Where cleanup is underway, a pipe burst shortly after the boiler was fixed. All of this week has been temperatures below 20 and in most cases like today down to single digits. So that has impacted our buildings, which are older buildings. Um, it's required all of our systems to work a lot harder, and that does create problems. All schools are expected to be open Monday, except Calverton Elementary Middle School. In a letter posted online Sunday, school's CEO, Dr. Sonia Brookins Santelisis, said regular temperature checks will be made at all schools, adding, quote, with cold weather continuing today and into tomorrow, it may be necessary to relocate some students temporarily to warmer areas of buildings. But I commit to you that if all students cannot be in acceptable spaces for learning, we will make a prompt decision to close the school. And any additional all-day closures will be announced by 6 o'clock Monday morning. We're live tonight in West Baltimore. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.